So it looks like we might have the answer as to why Jonathan Major's team, his management team, his PR firm, have dropped him. There are more details, apparently. According to this new report from Variety, it looks like there are more victims of Jonathan Majors coming forward. Welcome back to the Campfire Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So I didn't expect that just, I think it was yesterday that we posted about this Jonathan Majors story, that we would have more information. Since our video yesterday talking about how he had been dropped by his management team and his publicity company. He was also dropped from attending the Met Gala that's supposed to happen next month. I honestly thought maybe he was just avoiding press at all costs before his May 8th date that he's supposed to go into court to fight these charges. Well, now Variety's reporting that more victims are coming forward. So as you know, we've covered a separate video and mentioned in the last video that there were people that had accusations not similar to what he's being accused of in, these, in this criminal case, but just basically saying that he's a terrible person behind the scenes and maybe just a diva. Who knows? They did not go into details, but they talked a lot about his personality and that he was horrific behind the scenes. All right. Even calling him cruel at one point. Well, now I did not expect immediately that more victims are coming forward to the DA. So according to Variety, they write, as Jonathan Majors prepare, prepares for a May 8th court appearance on domestic violence charges, his PR problems are about to get bigger. Sources familiar with the matter tell Variety that multiple alleged abuse victims of Majors have come forward following his March arrest and are cooperating with the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. The prospect of more women waiting in the wings could mark a traumatic turn in the case and comes on the heels of Majors' publicists and management firms cutting ties with the embattled actor earlier this week. Someone in, in the last video that we did had commented, well, maybe his management team and publicity team saw this video footage that Priya Chaudhry, his attorney, claimed that they had, and even they couldn't spin what they saw in that video. This is what people are alleging in the comments section. And then I said to myself, oh, because you also may recall Priya Chaudhry had put out that text message, and that turned everyone's opinion to, wait, maybe he did do this. Because those text messages did not clear his name the way that Priya Chaudhry thought that it would. So according to Variety, they said the DA declined to comment, of course. A representative for Majors didn't comment on the record as well. The Crete's three star, as you know, was arrested back on March 25th in Chelsea neighborhood of Manhattan on charges of, quote, strangulation, assault, and harassment. At the time, an NYPD spokesperson said in a statement that a 30-year-old woman told police that she had been assaulted by Majors, who was 33, and that she, quote, sustained minor injuries to her head and neck and was removed to an area hospital in stable condition. But as you know, after that news broke, the next day, Priya Chaudhry must have been hired as his attorney and said that we have all the proof. We have video evidence. We have a statement from the, the, the driver. We have two statements from the woman involved in this situation, recanting any statements to the police. And then we had the text messages that came out after that. So a source familiar with the, chrono the chronology of the events says that his attorney released the statement while he was still behind bars. This is also interesting. This is why I had to do a follow-up video on this. According to Variety, Chaudhry, Priya Chaudhry, Major, Jonathan Major's attorney's husband, Andrew Burke, is serving as Major's crisis publicist and doubled down on the narrative that Major's was the victim when he released a series of text messages on March 30th, so he was the fool to put out those text messages. Jonathan Major's attorney's husband, who's acting as a crisis publicist, maybe maybe they were bumping heads, the, public, the crisis publicist and his PR firm, which currently dropped him. 
So they continue. They said in the text exchange, which has not been independently verified, which is important to note, the woman wrote to majors. I told them they, that it was my fault for trying to grab your phone. There's more. We did separate videos on this, guys. So be sure to check those videos out so if you want to get the full text message exchange. So Variety writes this. But for, for many who were in business with majors, the text messages had the opposite effect and raised more questions than they answered. Namely, why the woman had lost consciousness, which was mentioned in the text message. One person said, it read like a bad Lifetime movie. They basically look like the text messages of a textbook abused woman. We've said this. In recent months, Majors has become one of Hollywood's most promising stars, as you already know, with a series of high-profile and lucrative roles on the horizon. Now, all eyes are on his future with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, where he's supposed to play the titular uh, Kang in Avengers The Kang Dynasty. Majors is still attached to star in that film, which is slated to be released May 2nd, 2025. And he's poised to make $20 million, including back-end compensation. He also was signed to star in Avengers Secret Wars, which is slated to debut in 2026. So there's a lot on the line that, he's a, that he could potentially lose. According to Variety, they said that Disney is monitoring the fast-moving situation and it has time to move deliberately. So this is an interesting tidbit from Variety's article. They said that Disney has the added wrinkle in that the alleged victim in the Manhattan incident also worked on this year's Ant-Man and the Wasp uh, Guatemania, a film which majors was the third build as Kang the Conqueror. A Disney spokesperson declined to comment. And this is why I believe that he decided not to attend the Met Gala because according to Variety, they said separately, Jonathan Majors is stepping down from the board of the Gotham Film and Media Institute and his work with the Sydney Portier Initiative, which was created to support emerging filmmakers. On Wednesday afternoon, the executive director, Jeffrey Sharp, sent a note to the Gotham board alerting them of the move. So they say the industry was jolted by the news that Majors' publicist, the Letty Company, and the Management 360 Company had dropped their, their star client well before his first court appearance next month. As of now, WME is still representing Majors. In 2018, the agency created a so-called Client Advisory Committee, which makes a recommendation on whether or not to drop a client accused of impropriety. The committee of 20 staffers split evenly among gender lines and from a cross-section of divisions, evaluates a client's viability amid accusations and considers such factors as if the client has been charged criminally or is facing a civil lawsuit. WME has previously dropped such clients as Brett Ratner, Brian Singer, and Army Hammer. The committee has not met yet regarding majors based on the limited information that is available. So not only is the Marvel projects or, you know, Disney projects coming up for Jonathan Majors, here's what else is, is coming up for Jonathan Majors. He's poised, he's poised to play, I didn't even know this, to play bad boy Dennis Rodman in the Lion Gates film 48 Hours in Vegas. With that project, the studio is watching the developments closely as well before making a decision about whether or not to proceed with Majors. Other projects that hang in the balance include Spike Lee's The Understudy for Amazon. A source at the studio says Majors is still attached to star and produce alongside Will Smith, but the project hasn't moved forward since it was announced in early March. This story continues to move forward. I'm not surprised that there are allegedly more victims coming forward. I wasn't surprised when people that have worked with him in the past had come forward. And I told you in those last couple of coverage videos that we've done, their allegations had nothing to do with physical abuse. However, we don't know what these allegations, these other people are bringing to the DA. It will be interesting come May 8th what we will find out there. Guys, as always, let's continue this conversation in the comment section. What is your reaction that there are possibly more, quote, victims that are coming forward? As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. Ooh, you bring the lighter. I got the fuse. You make a fire.
Follow my lady, just watch the show.